Our next problem will deal with the nearest neighbor method. Use the nearest neighbor method to find a Hamilton circuit that begins at vertex A in the given graph. What is the total weight of the Hamilton circuit? So we're going to begin at vertex A, and to end up with a Hamilton circuit, remember that that means we're going to end up going through each vertex once and only once. To use the nearest neighbor method, we look for the edge coming off of vertex A, which has the smallest weight. And that would be the edge going from A to E with a weight of 5. So we can start with A and move to vertex E. And we'll go ahead and list that weight as 5. Next, we're going to start at E and look for the edge coming off of E going to one of the other vertices, which would have the smallest weight. So we have an edge coming off going to D with weight 8, an edge going to C with weight 9, an edge going to B with weight 10. The smallest weight will be the one that goes to vertex D. So we're going to have from E to D, we're going to have the weight, which is 8. Now we're at D. We're not going to be able to go back to A or E, but we have only two choices. We can go to vertex B with a weight of 7 or to vertex C with a weight of 4. The weight of 4 is smaller, so we'll go from D to C. And now once we get to vertex C, we really have no choice. We have to now go to the other vertex that we haven't already gone to, which would be vertex B. That's a weight of 5. And finally, to complete the circuit, we go from vertex B back to A. And that weight is 11. So if we list the Hamilton circuit, we're going to have A, comma, E, comma, D, comma, C, comma, B, and back to A. To find the total weight of the Hamilton circuit, we'll add up each of the individual weights. And that sum is going to be 33.